it's Naomi. I just thought I'd uh, come on and just give you a quick look at some of the uh, Christmas decorations that I'd made previously using cork coasters. Now, I was in Kmart today just doing a little bit of shopping and I was in the kitchen section and I came across this pack of cork coasters. Now, I bought this uh, set of these a couple of years ago now. Some of you may remember the things I'm about to show you. Um, but these are only $2.25 a packet and there are six coasters in there. So they are sort of like MDF on one side and cork on the other. So I bought these to, for the idea of making some more decorations um, and doing a Facebook Live and videoing them. So I thought I'd just come on and just show you um, just some of the things I've made in the past with the coasters. Um, most of them, you know, I'm a raised stencil. I love it, love it, love it. Um, so I have made some raised stencil ones in the past. So this is an idea that you could do with the coaster. So that's just the coaster. Um, it's painted on the cord side, cork side, not the um, MDF side. Um, and it's just been painted and it's just had some um, uh, joint compound put on it to make the raised stencil um, and then a bit of uh, dark glaze over the top. And then for a little bit of interest, we've just sort of like uh, stenciled on the back. Okay, so I made a whole set of those. So, and they're nice and light. And I, um, so they're all here with um, the stenciling on the back. So there we go. So there's those. So you could make those if you've got um, a bit of time. And then there was, it's really weird to explain, but it's like a kind of raised, uh, sorry, reversed raised stencil. So with this one, okay, so with this one, it's the, um, the star has been cut out. But with this stencil, it's actually the... The, um, the red that's been cut out so what happens is that these letters and these uh, holly leaves I think they are all leaves are actually uh, sunken in and the red bit is actually the raised bit okay um, and they were just uh, paint, painted with chalk paint um, and a bit of a white glaze over the top uh, and yeah and stamps with the joint compound so I have you know a collection of those they are just painted on the back with a little bit of interest so I've got a whole whole collection of them okay and they say joy okay so yeah oh, and I've got but you more I've got lots of them okay so then another thing that you can do is you get your um your coaster and this is just been if you can just see close enough there see how it's raised so that's just had a bed of uh, joint compound put on and um, a moldings made and that molding has just been uh, put on the whole lot painted and then some uh, dry brushing some white dry brushing so that's there um, that's not complete still raw on the back um, but yeah you can easily drill a hole and hang something from it um, so this one here is a little bit different um, so I made some of these and then Georgia helped me make some as well I think this this one here is one that Georgia made this one's actually got stamping on it so this is the uh, coaster with um, a slightly raised stencil on there and then some painting um, um, and then some some stamping put on there so that gives you a little bit of extra detail what else have we got okay oh again this is another one that's uh, similar with a molding that's put been put on it it's um, just had the joint compound put on it and then a uh, molding and then um, painted and glazed okay so this is another one that Georgia made again it's just raised stenciling with um, uh, just a little bit of paint and shimmer on it okay so there's that okay what else have we got oh this one is just one that's just had um, a napkin de decoupage to it and then glazed. So there's that one there as well. So, um, and I've just realized I didn't put the ring light, light on, but that's okay, we're all good. Um, okay, so this is one that is just plain and simple. Um, this is just one that's been um, uh, raised stenciled with colored um, compound. So it's just compound with paint added to it. And what else have we got? Um, again, this is another idea that you could perhaps do. So this has got a bit of a shimmer to it. Again, it's just a raised stencil um, just with some chalk paint and some uh, shimmering on it. Okay, what else have we got over here? 
This one, this one didn't turn out too good, but the thought was there. This one here is actually, oh, it, yeah, it doesn't look too bad on the camera. Um, so this one is actually a raised stencil, but using lace. So I've just got a piece of lace and I've laid that over the top and then I have just um, popped the um, compound over the top. So you can sort of see the little squares in there. What else have we got over here? Um, so again, another raised stencil with some paint. Um, so there's that one there. And this again is raised stencil with um, some stamping on it and some painting and dry brushing. Okay, so those ones aren't quite complete, but we've got, what have we got over here? This one, again, is, uh, I don't know if you can see in there, there's some stamping on there, um, as well as some ray stenciling and some painting. Um, so there's that one. What else have we got? Oh, this one's cute. This is very shimmery, this one. Okay, so you can see that one there like that. So very, very, very shimmery. So, yep, so there's that. Again, it's just ray stenciling on there as well. Um, what else have we got? Okay, so this is a little bit different. So this one is painted with um, a painted stencil and then a ray stencil on it. So you've got um, the bauble is the ray stencil uh, as well as, you know, the leaf, uh, holly leaf. And then this here is a painted stencil and there's that one there. Okay, um, and that's had some dark glaze put over it as well. Okay, if you're into mermaids, there's uh, this one. This one's a little bit shimmery as well. So that's one, another one. And again, that's just a raised stencil. Okay, so there's that one there. Uh, what else have we got? Again, another shimmery one with a bit of dry brushing um, and gold, gold paint to make it a little bit shiny, shiny and glimmery. Uh, again, again, another one that's um, had uh, been painted and then ray stenciled and dry brushed over the top. And uh, okay, and again, another one that's been um, uh, ray stenciled and painted over the top. Okay, there we go. And you can see it's a little bit shiny and glimmery. Okay, and then this one, okay, is a little bit like a, a rusty looking kind of um, design. So again, that's all done with paint and ray stenciling. So again, it's just the coaster with the um, ray stenciling and then the uh, chalk paint over the top and just in a sort of like a rusty kind of effect. And that is pretty much all. And then I have some flower ones that I had started, but they're just um, plain painted at the moment. So they need a bit of something put onto them. Um, so yeah and that's about all I've got at the moment so I, as I said um, if you want to make some of these they're $2.25 from Kmart uh, there's a set of six um, yeah and they, uh, Kmart also had some wooden ones as well I think they were six dollars for a pack of four they're quite thick wood but if you are wanting to save a bit of money and do a cheap craft definitely use these these are brilliant um, and then I'll with this lot I'm going to make some more on the weekend so if you do watch this and you would like me to do a Facebook live showing any of the techniques that I've showed you please um, leave a comment and let me know and then I'll come on the weekend and I'll show you how to do it um, and then we can also maybe have a bit of a chat see what's going on shooting the breeze and um, yeah and then we can ask questions and we can make them together so yes so please let me know all right well have a lovely rest of the day and i'll see you soon thanks guys bye